All right, um, I was going to do this Instagram live with this camera, but it's uh, got very, very, very wet up here. Um, so I'm on uh, in the Snowdonia National Park, um, and I was actually looking for somewhere that there was absolutely no signal. So we found it here. We are um, east of the mountain. Um, and we are on the miners track so if i just spin this back around you'll see the view again there we go so that's where we are and uh what we're doing is at the minute we're doing um, a proof of concept so we're using um, the one web terminal back here which is uh movable um, terminal so that can go onto a vehicle onto a boat and it can go anywhere that you can get a vehicle or a boat to um, and essentially what I'm doing is I'm using internet from space to transmit to you now from uh, Slovenia National Park. This area that we're in now has zero signal we've all tried on the team to get signal here so we're pretty sure this is probably the first time that we've ever done or anyone's ever done a video transmission um, from here. Uh, I'm going to spin the camera around so you can see the terminal. There we go. So that would then mount on top of a vehicle or on top of a boat. And not only does that allow me to um, be able to send messages and emails from remote places, but also let me spin this around. What that also does is allow me um, to do a live transmission so we can think about it from central network will have all of the satellites up in space which will allow for a full global um, network of satellites um, and so for people like me who live and work in remote places around the world this just opens up so many options um, so I'm just going to spin the phone around and uh, see if I can get some questions from you guys about the kit and about where it can be used uh. Sorry, that was Brady, our cameraman who was filming there that just ended up in there. Um, excellent. So people can hear us, which is a good start. What's the weather like? It's freezing up here. It's, uh, I think it was about 8 degrees and it's been uh, snowing. We were up on the top yesterday looking for somewhere to do this. But um, it was, it was uh, still wintry conditions up there. Right, let's see what questions. Ah. Sorry, I'm tripping up here. Uh, will this be available for mountain rescue? So obviously it's um, a satellite uh, communication system. Um, 
and if it's portable if you can get it onto your vehicle then you can use it um, it's also you can then um, link from there and still be able to get signal all over the mountain in mountain rescue I'd imagine you're still going to be using your radios but then once you can have reliable connection to Wi-Fi you can then send either pictures videos reports straight back to HQ um, I'm going to spin this round so that you guys can see me because this is uh, person portable um, which then opens up the whole world of comms again it's going to spin this round and that uh, you can look at the waterfall while I read some more questions so a couple of questions are can you use it anywhere and what about the charge so um, this will, this bit of tape will also be plugged into the vehicle. So it's plugged into the vehicle, um, and at the minute it's running off battery pack. It will probably have about 8 to 10 hours use, but once you then plug that in, so if you think about in a rural community being able to plug that in and then running cables from that, everyone in that town or village then has Wi Fi. Um, let me just get a couple more questions. Um, so there's a couple of questions about are there any black spots for the kit to be used? Um, anywhere that this piece of kit can um, see the sky you will effectively be able to um, have comms. Um, so it's the same as anything else, you, um, you do need to, it depends where it's going to be placed. Uh, but ultimately we've chosen here, I'm going to show you where we are, we've chosen a place that traditionally would be not very good for getting signal on a satellite phone for example we're in a, a big bowl here um, and the weather's pretty bad let me show you um, so at the minute uh, on this uh, trip here we've been using this kit and working with serve on um, so these are international um, search and rescue teams there's a few of them standing right here um, and using the, the kit to be able to link these guys up on the ground but more importantly we were chatting about how this could be useful these guys have just got back from, from Turkey um, and they were saying that it would have been amazingly um, important to be able to film a situation, to film a building, to film um, an area and then send that out to all other relevant parties instead of trying to get on a phone. Often in disaster relief areas there's, there's no communication through the phone network um, as satellite networks being patchy. Sorry to clean that. Um, and so what they were saying about being able to send real-time live video streaming from that area would have been um, exceptionally good. So it has lots of um, very good uh, um, uses, real use systems. So let me just see if I can get a couple more questions. Sorry about the camera steaming up, but it's uh, it's pretty wild here.
Yeah, so um, how many OneWeb satellites are up there now? There's about 584, I think if I got my numbers right. Um, and by the end of this month, with the final launch, it will be full global coverage, um, low Earth orbit coverage of Earth. So that effectively means that you can have good, reliable, consistent comms anywhere on the planet. This is actually an amazing place to test it. No one on the crew um, here has any signal um, and hasn't for a couple of kilometers that way um, and that way. So it's a bit of a game changer for remote communities, but also organizations that are like search and rescue, um, first responders into disaster zones, and also people like myself who work in um, extreme remote locations around the world. So being able to have comms is, is ultimately key to, for me anyway, safe expeditions. I'll just turn it around and get a few more questions. I did one there. So I'm just reading these out. Alright, another question is how quickly was it to set up? Um, this is the box that the um, terminal comes in, so at the minute this is 30 kilos, so we rack it up in here from the vehicle. Um, but this is probably takes about 15 minutes to get to the set up. Um, and the here is also, so you know, if we're not through here, um, it's also uh, on the network at the moment. So um, it has huge capabilities in areas where we're not responsible users to connect. It's not just connect, but also being able to deliver information um, at high speeds and, and low latencies. Just a bit about to get a few more questions. Um, the other questions were how long did it take for all of us and the crew up here um, to get internet from when it was set up and it was about four minutes. Um, I did say earlier on everyone was connected so I'm going to spin around and show you the hardcore team that's up here. So this is all the guys from OneWeb, um, also Servon and also our mega guys um, from Sazi Brennan and also the film crew from the web. Every single one of these guys is hooked up to internet from space right now. There you can see behind everyone's clothes. We've been up here for quite a few hours and it's very, very cold and wet. Um, I'm just going to ask the guys if they've got any more questions and if you've got any more questions, stick them in um, and then we'll wrap it up because I need to warm my hands up. Two more questions. Right, this is, give me, I've got one from you guys and I've got one from the team, which I'm just about to be told. All oh, right, okay. Ah, right. So, two final questions before we go and everyone gets warmed up. Um, is a gaming one, can you game on uh, this connection? And the answer is yes. Uh, it's the exact same as any other um, connection um, that you want to use, but obviously this is quite high speed or latency. So if you are wanting to game from remote corners of the world, then this bit of kit uh, is good. And also the antenna here for the system is made by the guys at Chimeta, um, which are uh, these guys. Um, so that's probably it. I'm going to wrap up there. Um, but again, one web. This is the terminal here. This is the movable terminal um, that we've been testing and doing a proof of concept in the, the realm of search and rescue, international search and rescue. Um, so we've got the team up here again, one web, and uh, we've got team Nuevo over there, Sazi Brennan guys looking after our safety, and I'm So 
from here up on uh, in the Children's National Park. Um, we'll all be checking out, going to get some 